We sat on the ridge until about 7.30. We weren't seeing much action, so we moved to the main road where we saw all the antelope previously in the other trips. Sure enough, we weren't disappointed, as you'll see in this next clip. I just learned a lesson. Lindsay's up on the hill watching the two bucks. I'm going to get the decoy that I left in the freaking car. She's gonna signal me once I get to the car if they're still there. And I'm gonna haul ass up there with the decoy. If they're gone, then she's just gonna come back to the car. Always keep your freaking decoy with you. Well, got back up there at the decoy a little too late. Oh well, huh? So we're gonna go uh, eat some sandwiches and I'm gonna grab the spotting scope and look at these antelope that are way far away over here. So as we watch this huge group of antelope sitting on private land, including a large buck, we're pretty much done for the day. We didn't have any more antelope located and we were out of ideas. These first three hunts have been quite the learning experience and I feel like leading up to this very last hunt in the middle of September between deer and elk hunts we might be able to get something accomplished. Here in Colorado you can start shooting either sex September 1st so even if we shoot a doe, I'd feel very accomplished in knowing that I shot one of these difficult animals with a bow. I hope you learned something from watching these videos, and stay tuned for part 4, where we'll be back for either sex to be open, and hopefully the rut will be picking up, and the bucks will be more responsive to our decoy. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time, shoot straight.